my name is Julie. I am from Learn to Play. I am a home daycare provider in Ohio. Today's video is going to be another dramatic play setup. This week at the daycare, we are doing construction theme. So I'm just going to show you around the room and give you um, a tour and let you know, like show you different things that we've done throughout the week. On our main door, we just put little construction hats with the kids' names. And then me and my two assistants, I did like um, construction cones. I did leave this mural up. And on this wall, I did leave up from last week's theme around the world, I left up the sky theme. I just added some extra um, paper that I had to make, you know, buildings. Over here on this first table, I found this puzzle at Goodwill like a year or two ago for $2. This is perfect for our theme. Today we are going to be doing dot markers on this construction paper. Um, I need to make copies of that. And in here I just have some little um, construction trucks and stuff like that. I probably purchased a lot of these from either Goodwill or the Dollar Tree. Down below I just have a thing of blocks. I figured they could like build. Now mind you, my group is three and under. So the rooms that I'm showing you and the setups that I'm showing you are geared towards younger kids. You know, eventually they will all be preschoolers and I can do a lot more. So this is very basic, but again, they're three and under. All the TPT or all the um, pictures you're gonna see on the wall are from TPT. I'll link that seller down below. Here are two of the trucks that I got from uh, a garage sale for 50 cents. I showed that in one of my hauls, they were 50 cents each. And then this little yellow truck I got from Walmart, I believe for like $5 and it came with some accessories. My sister picked up this little tool bench. I think she got it from like um, Dollar General. It was on sale for $12.50. It came with all the accessories. I like these because you can um, maneuver things. You can put different you know, nuts and bolts inside things. Um, it has like little pretend like wrenches and stuff like that. It came with a little phone. The only thing it did not come with is this. I did purchase this um, at the Dollar Tree. So this is very short. I mean, you can see in comparison to my wall, but it's perfect for the age group that I have. Then over here, I saw this online and I love this idea. So I just got three styrofoam blocks and then I picked up some of these, um, I think they're called like golf tees and the kids can hammer them into the styrofoam. That way, I mean, they are pointy at the end. You definitely have to have supervision, but they're not, you know, quote unquote nails but they're like fake nails. And then down below, I just put three of these construction hats in this. I did buy two of these Melissa and Doug construction dramatic play vest last year, and they came with some accessories and they each came with a hat. So I'm assuming I got that third hat probably at Goodwill. And again, that same TPT seller, she has all these little cards to label everything. On the closet doors, I simply just got two orange shovels from the Dollar Tree. These cones are different sizes. The two on the right, the yellow and the orange are from Target for $3 for a four pack. And then the left orange cone set, I think is a two pack for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I did put a sensory bin out. Inside here, I just put another one of the little trucks. These are some of those accessories that came with that truck I said that I got for $5 at Walmart. They have little cones and like the barrels. And then these rocks are from the Dollar Tree. That's probably two or three bags of rocks. This table I've shown many times before. It's from Walmart. It's a dry erase table. And then this little foam ABC mat I kept in here this week as well. On the wall up here, I have this construction worker matching game. I simply just cut these out. They're double-sided um, Velcro dots and they match. I have a whole um, collection of those for my community service um, folder. So I just brought out the construction one since it works with this theme. And then I found these pictures online and I just hung them up so that the kids can see like different construction um, trucks and stuff. Over here on top, I got all of these books from Goodwill. The two large books were 90 cents each. Then I think this was like 50 cents, these two smaller books. And then I love these, these play school, like my first saw, my first drill. You open them up and then it just has like a little story in it. So this one says, this is a saw. We are using the saw to make a birdhouse. So 
thought these were super cute. I think those were like all three for a dollar. And then I got the lot at the end of the block book. And then this big truck book. Again, this is like not totally construction related, but it has like the first page on it is construction trucks. So they like looking at this. And then down below here, I have the wooden blocks out again. And then I got these sample tiles from Home Depot. So I put those out as well. And then I got this little toolbox from the Dollar Tree. Nothing comes with it. It's actually like in their tool section. But the kids have been putting all the accessories in that. They really like that. And then I have a bunch of like painting supplies. I picked up two different packs of painting brushes from the Dollar Tree. And then just an assortment of rollers. What we've been doing is putting water in little pails and letting them pretend paint. And then next to this is just... I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what most of these tools are. So this is just an assortment of tools. And then I have this Black & Decker toolbox. This came with a lot of accessories. I just simply divided them out. And I think I got this from Target for like 10 bucks. I have our cardboard blocks up here so they can build. And then in here I have two different games. Right here is like a matching game, like a number matching game. I printed out till number five. I have. I think the game goes to like 10, but I just, you know, we we're only working one through five. Again, my kids are all three and under. And then let's see here. This one right here is really cute. I found this online a couple years ago. This is great for like circle time, you know, lift like a forklift, dig like a backhoe, tip like a dump truck, spin, um, stretch. So this is a great little, you know, large motor activity to do with the kids. On this table, I got this Home Depot, like, I don't know if it's a jigsaw. Again, I apologize, I do not know the names of this stuff. For, I think, $4 at Goodwill. And then I printed out um, the little nuts and bolt thing, and then I bought these from Home Depot. These are very heavy, but I figured they're large enough to where the kids can't swallow them. And then um, they can just screw on, different, you know, the taps with it. It's a great fine motor skill. This is only brought out with supervision. I don't leave this sitting on here typically throughout the day. And then down below, I just have an assortment of pretend hammers. And that shelf down there are some more drills. I think most of these, yeah, they make noise. So the kids really love them. Down here, I have goggles. I got I actually have two of these, I don't know where the other one's at, from Dollar Tree for a dollar each. And then these goggles came with that Melissa and Doug set. So I have those. And then just a little flashlight up here are just some screwdrivers. And then a pair of pliers. And then on this side, I guess these are wrenches. And then whatever that is, little socket things. And then down below is just some regular saws. Yeah, see, like this one, this Black & Decker, this must have came with that set. And then I think the orange ones came with that Melissa & Doug set. So that is it, guys. That's what we're doing this week. I haven't picked a theme for next week. Like I said, I love to do themes in the summer because we do get a lot of rain here. Or we have gotten a lot of rain this summer. So when we have to stay indoors, I like a dedicated space with a dedicated theme that the kids can play and that we switch out weekly. If you have any ideas on any themes you would like to see me do, please leave that down below in the description um, box. I would gladly get to those. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are not a subscriber, please consider doing so. And I will catch you in my next video.